here we are right now. We've just gone through quite an amazing week this past week. Just absolutely beautiful weather across really the entire Midwest. We really lucked out as that warm air came in right on Memorial Day onwards, especially as we went past Memorial Day. And I'm trying to share the screen over here. And if we can get the screen working and things are working properly, we're going to be able to show actual graphics with the weather map today, which would be quite amazing. We're putting in those pressure isolines right now. We'll be able to see exactly what's going on. This is the European computer model. And as you'll be able to see, we have, so we have that high pressure up. Uh, well, it's in the Hudson Bay area. That's in the northeast part of our map. We also have high pressure going over in the kind of the four cornered area, but really more it's centered over Colorado. And we have an area of low pressure off the Gulf of Maine. That's a pretty strong area of low pressure, although it's likely weakening. When you look at the precipitation that we have currently going over the country, uh, you'll see we can get these things working properly. We see that we have precipitation, which is occurring along the Gulf Coast by Texas and areas like over there. We have precipitation going over the Colorado Rockies. We have a south wind also, which is indicative of a, probably a low pressure system, which is somewhere uh, around here, uh, which although it's not showing on this particular map, it's probably there. And we have that low pressure with all the rain associated with in the main area. And then we also have, there was uh, the remnants perhaps of a tropical storm or something like that somewhere around there. Uh, we see as we go, there was an, we can look at the dew points. This will tell you how much humidity there is. And when we blow things up, so you'll see we have a northeast wind. We continue under a northeast wind. And you can see the St. Louis temperature is 84 degrees. That's actually the air temperature. If you look at the dew point, you'll see the dew points are way, way down, 46 degrees. Now, granted, this is the European computer model. This was taken at uh, 3 hours and 51 minutes ago. So if you, the GFS model was taken 19 minutes ago. So if we want to get probably more accurate in regards to what's going on right now, we're going to switch over to the GFS model. Dew points are probably somewhere in the lower 50s in the St. Louis area, and dew points are also in the lower 50s when you head over to the Chicago area. And the dew points rise as we get further to the south. The air goes over more agricultural, and we still have northeast winds going all the way over here. But over he then over here, we have southwest winds. When you go down to the Louisiana area, it's hard to tell over here that there's southwest winds. What would make it easier to tell, however, is if I put under the settings, if I put, if I go to wind and I make it uh, do something like that, uh, we should have an easier time being able to see the wind. And you'll be able to see that we do have southwest winds that are coming out of, it's not exactly coming from the Gulf though. And to make that easier to tell, you can go down here and, well, we have the speed going all the way up. We have, I don't know what more we could put here. Uh, so it's still hard to tell which direction we have by, the winds are going really from the Northeast over the Gulf of Mexico. So the winds are coming from the south when you head over to Louisiana. Now, but they're not really going from the Gulf to Louisiana, except when you get to the states like Mississippi and places like that. And I want to point out something I mentioned yesterday, is that when you go to New Orleans, if you zoom up over here, you'll see there's actually a body of water, which is right there. Now, it says here the dew point is 67 degrees. And right now we have winds actually coming right off the body of water, going not to New Orleans, but to areas just to the northeast, to the northwest. If you want to see what the water temperatures are, you can go over here. We have the sea temperature, and that would tell you what our temperatures are over. Uh, so you have the, the water temperatures in this little body of water are between 82 and 83 degrees. 
you go down this is the cool water in the seven, 74 degrees the hottest water you know in the Gulf of Mexico we have the water temperature seems to be stable at 82 to 83 degrees in you know many spots you get the further south you go the the cooler that water is you go off to this is where the water temperatures are really the the you see that 80 degree area it's going all the way up pretty far up north where this is still warm enough you could see see if you go up there you run into you, you head over to baltimore it's like 59 degrees but at the same degree latitude you're still looking at a pretty warm water temperatures um, if you really want to go into Baltimore, Baltimore is actually somewhere over here. So the water temperatures around there are 71 degrees. And if we go into Baltimore Harbor, you'll get water temperatures of 72 degrees, something like that. You go over to Lake Michigan, you're going to end up with water temperatures. They should be in the mid-60s by the Chicago shore. We'll see if the Chicago shore we should have... Uh, so this is showing, this is showing 60, 62, 6, 59, 50, um, this is showing 50, 50 uh, okay, it's showing 50s, I don't know how accurate that is, but you see when you go to the Green Bay area, the water gets, this thing isn't moving right, the water gets shallower, so here's Green Bay. So the water is actually the warmest over here. It's amazing. 68 degree water temperature. You would have to check with the National Weather Service to see if that's right. But see how much further north Green Bay is than Chicago. And yet the water temperatures are 10 degrees warmer there. We showed how it's 69 over there. And it's like 61 by Chicago. And we have this little area by Oshkosh, Wisconsin, where the water temperatures are 69. When you go up into... The Lake Superior, that's when we saw some very cold water temperatures. It's more towards uh, Duluth, Minnesota, I think. You know, so this is where I start to suspect that there's some inaccuracy here because according to this, we still have ice in the water by Lake Superior. And when I checked the National Weather Service chart, the coldest I was able to find was 37, 38 degrees. Now, I want to know if this thing is still recording or not, if this thing... It's still recording. Okay, so we go like Duluth. Okay, so 48 degrees. It's probably warmer. You could see these water temperatures. You know, it would be curious, interesting to see what it is by the Hudson Bay. But these water temperatures have gone way up. The Hudson Bay it shows it's all ice. I don't know if that's true or not. That's what it's showing here. And by the Pacific Ocean, we're seeing the water temperatures, you know, pretty cold as it is but you when you go over here it gets warm you go into the it hits up to you know it's well here it's only 73 a lot of times in yuma we get very high humidity because of that now let's you just see this area it's okay let's go back to the air temperatures and we're just going to look at what's going to be going on for the next couple of days and we're going to take off those graphics which are we're just going to put it at normal wind and uh and here we go so we'll have it we're going to have it over st louis it's just easier so we have monday morning but well, that was already this morning <clears throat> excuse me so we have the temperature today this is the gfs model again we have the temperature likely went up into the 80th uh, 83, 84 for St. Louis. If you want to know for sure, so what you do is you go here and uh, let's say type in something like University City, which is very close to Lambert Airport. Uh, you go to University City and then you click over there and you go to the airport and here it's going to tell you what the actual temperatures were. So you see Thursday, June 1st was 91, 92, 93, 90. And today's high was 85 degrees. <clears throat> the current dew point is down in the 40s. And we did see dew point hit 71. Watch that. 
71 degrees at about uh, sometime Sunday night, Sunday evening. We saw a dew point in the low 70s. In St. Louis, that was just yesterday evening, the dew point was in the low 70s. And that's really the only time where we really saw Gulf Coast level humidity was right before the much drier air moved in. Dew point hit 71, and immediately afterwards, you could see winds become out of the northeast and dew points drop. So we have a drastic drop in those dew points. You go over to, well, we're just going to take a look and see what the temperatures are forecasted to be over the next several days. So at this point, we're going to put it back to the European computer model. It, well, you know what? It is at the European computer model. So there's probably some rain, by the way, over there. And they, they see, I see a cool spot over there. So we have here, we have the low pressure down here. We have this whole area up here is the is the warm ridge this is so the areas up here notice how this is can in canada and temperatures are not normally 85 you know 80 86 degrees places up here in canada you could get a you could see what the actual temperatures were especially if you could find an airport there's an airport okay it actually wasn't that warm but today it hit 90 degrees with a dew point of 64 and by the way that the stations which have dew points are usually the official ones this is the Lorange airport i don't know exactly where it is this is 55 degrees north latitude they reach 90 degrees with a dew point of 64 degrees and the they the reporting times every 48 minutes they a lot of times have the sunrise sunset i don't see it over there but that's uh so it's quite hot up there and that means there's probably, you know, you have to wonder how far north did the warmth go? How far warmth did all this warmth go? That's a, a question. You go, if you have 80, you, you could at least see, it would be interesting to see how far warmth did all the warmth go? How far warmth, how far north? Because I see some... A warm spot. We have some warm spots up here. And that's about it. I don't think we get any further north. But yesterday we mentioned in Russia, wherever it is, it was around 60. To, look at that storm. 28.9, a powerhouse storm over there. We mentioned that there were some spots. We have to... The way to find the spots in Russia is you go over here, and what we would do is we would go right here, go to temperature, and go to today. Now, this area is going to be brutally warm for this time of the year. So, like an area like that, this <laughs> brutal heat, this is 53 degrees north latitude. This is um, unbelievable. Look at these forecast highs, 100 degrees, 101 degrees Thursday. This is incredible heat. What's the name of the city? It's hard. <laughs> I don't know what the name is. Let's pick out a city that we could actually type in. The closest city we see here is Abaznayi. Abaznayi. And it looks like that city doesn't exist. So, Abaz, okay, it looks like it's in maybe Ukraine. Is it in Ukraine? No, it's not in Ukraine. All right, so, but in any case, so we have a city here. Where was it? I don't know where it is now. But we have this city where we have to find it again. But it's like at about 55 degrees north latitude where we have phenomenal heat going on. And 60 degrees north latitude, somewhere around there. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's somewhere...
Where are we here? So that's the United States already. So first of all, right over here, we have some phenomenal heat. Right in Canada. So let's take a look and see what the temperatures are there. And then we're going to go... Okay, so we're holding the phenomenal heat. It could be we had it set for Friday. Okay, so if we had it set for Friday, we'll just, yeah, it must have been set for Friday. Okay, here we go. We have, we have the phenomenal heat going. How far north could we get it? We're getting... We have an 86 all the way up there. That's... Wow, that's 65 degrees north latitude. This is either the Arctic or super close to the Arctic. Okay, so let's... Let's just see when the hottest time of the day is. Over here, we're going skipping to Friday. I see it's 3 p.m. So we have it set. This is when it's going to be hottest. We'll get the closest. Let's go for the closest 90. You know, let's see what happens Saturday, 3 p.m. Sunday, 3 p.m. What's changed? Okay, I see it's getting cooler there. Is it ever going to come back? Because this is, at one point, right about... All right, so it looks like Friday is going to be the hottest. So this is going to be the hottest over here.